Well, you were the funny guy in prison. It's a bunch of funny people in prison. Right. Okay. What is that? What does Someone that mean? say that most of the funny people are in prison. What does that? What does that mean? Like the funny guy in prison. What does that mean? No, I'm asking. You said you knew that while you were in prison, no, you knew you a, were going to be a stand-up a comedian. I was a sarcastically humorous dude. If people mm -hmm. look at my stand-up now, I'm not the funny dude now. No, I'm I'm the thoughtful, humorous dude now. But I always ask because I don't know what people mean by the funny <clears throat> person right. in prison because people have a lie or something from a movie embedded in their head that never happened. So I remember this, I was on this on this um, radio show and this guy asked me, so were you the funny guy in prison so people wouldn't mess with you? And I immediately looked at him like, man, who the fuck is you talking to? Like, like, I, and then I asked, I said, if I was 6'4", and I started in prison. Would you ask me that question? Because what make you think that being funny in prison would gain you some sort of protection? And then I said, because you fucking thinking about a movie, some <laughs> shit you heard on House Party that wasn't true. <laughs> Richard Pryor never went to prison. So no, he wasn't in prison making jokes so people wouldn't fuck with him because he never went to prison. That's a, that's a movie shit. So I tell people, I say, so you thought I was in the streets being some weak motherfucker before I, and I had to get funny in prison to protect myself? I got security now, and it's not for me. It's for the people. <laughs> He'll tell anybody that. I'm with him so he won't fuck y'all up. And that's the, that's the honest to God truth. I'm like, when people ask me shit, like, man, like, like, why, like, who, who are you talking to? Because if anybody know anything about me or even seen anything about me, I'm one of the most dangerous fucking people walking around. Just because I don't, I've never started a fight. I've never started any altercation, but I finished a lot of them because people say some disrespectful shit to me. I'm like, man, who the fuck are you talking to? Mm -hmm. What motivates you? It's, motivate the same, it's you? the same, it's the same mentality that I had in prison. Who, it's like, if we was, if we was in prison and you asked that question, it'd be prisoners be like, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This not the one for that. Right. When yeah. I did that, when I did Bigger Than These Bars in prison, it was people who, it's an officer named Woods that you'll see him in the, in the side corner. He knows the story. That it was a guy that challenged me in there. And I said, well, while you were in there performing, you're saying, I said, well, where you want to go? What cell you want to go to? And I'm going to take my suit jacket off. And only one of us are going to come out this cell. So all that slick shit you talking, let's make it happen. And then all of a sudden, I mean, I'm just fucking around with you. But I'm not fucking around, though. So you think I'm not, you think. You slit that slick shit and it's like it's over. Oh man, I'm just man, you 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 in here performing. Don't try to give me no goddamn I'm in here performing because you said the slick shit first. So let me let me address let me address it. I'm a I'm a cat that went into prison at 19. I was 135 pounds and I was 5'7 then. I'm 157 pounds now and I'm still 5'7. And When people address me a certain way, I'm like, you do know, like, I still get down. Like, I, so me being humorously sarcastic while I was in prison had nothing to do with protection. Nothing. So when the people ask me, was you the funny dude? I'm like, that's, I, that's why I always ask what that means. Right. Because mm -hmm. I want people to understand whatever you think. Or whatever that means in your head, it's too many people. It's too many people that give that give a, a disclaimer to be like, "Hey, well, well, can I ask you a question? Uh -huh. Why?" Um, and I appreciate you like full on breaking it down how it works that way. I feel like everyone has something that they rely upon. Like you're a funny guy, you're a comedian. I was a comedian for many years. I did it because I had some serious issues at my home going on, right? And I used it to kind of deflect from family issues. 
So if someone asked me, oh, so you're the funny guy in class, I'd be like, well, you know, yeah, man, actually I am. And I did it because I was dealing with some serious shit that was going on back at home. So I almost think it's kind of natural why someone would say, well, you know, why were you the funny guy? Why were you, you know, so it's, it's, it's a question that, my, that probably comes up from time to time. But your sure. response is like, you don't know who I am. No, and, and you also don't know, you, you also don't know uh, prison, right? So it's like, it's, you say, were you the funny guy in prison? I feel like it's like, it's treating prison as if it was a high school or, and it's like a yearbook thing. Like, I think it's just a lot more serious. And that's, uh, I think it's something that a lot of people need to understand because I, I find, and I have a, you know, I've met a couple of people that have come out of prison and dealing with like the, that world, it's important to understand that number one, when like that life that that he has in there or that they had in there that past that they had in there is a very serious time you know mm -hmm. so people ask about it very candidly i bet too right they go they go yo so what do you do for fun in there you know or like yo what's the you know what people i mean like have been this is the reason why <clears throat> because people take this place because of the orange is new black and all right, these all right. these desensitized shows they take this place, and because of that house party, that house party thing gives gives a bad taste to anybody who wants to come out of that place and be different. Because what do you mean? What's the house party thing? You're talking about the movie? That, that's the that's the rich. That's what people got that being funny can protect you thing from. Gotcha. That, got it. That was a Richard Pryor movie you're saying? No, it's a movie. It's the house party movie, but the the inside when kid. Kid, kid play a movie from the 80s. Got it. I'm right movie. there with you. So when he when kid is in jail mm -hmm. and this old man says, man, what he says, what I'm supposed to do, he said, well, Richard Pryor, he said when he was in jail. You remember the, the saying he said when he was in jail, he used to be funny to keep the inmates from thinking about it. And, and that permeates in people's head mm. more than anything else because that they've seen that scene. So how people think about prison. And anybody who does something, they never ask the person who came out of prison that became a lawyer, were you were you in there helping people with cases? So they, so they, so they wouldn't, you know. Got it. Got it. Makes sense. <laughs> that, Makes sense. Was you in there tattooing? So right. they wouldn't, with the, like, like that's the, that's the. <laughs> and, and I think on a bigger thing, something that's really dope that I want you to talk a little bit more about is like, yo, Orange is a New Black, Prison Break, that, that movie, like. Uh, even even movies like The Longest Yard, you know what I mean? Like all of this, all of that, it's it's a bullshit. Clearly. It, it's it's not like Oz. Like people used to think Oz was real. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, man, you do know none of this shit happens, man. I say when you see a real prison show, let me tell you what a real prison show is gonna show you. Yeah, they're gonna always do a count time. They're gonna do a count because why wouldn't you? It's the it's it's the number one thing that happens in prison. What's a count time? What is that? They count the inmates. Got it. Because that's how they get paid. Every day you're saying? Of course, they, yeah, they, yeah. Count they count, per, they count you, you five, six, seven, eight times a day. Mm. Like you get counted every shift twice. So got you it. got three shifts. You're saying that's if you six if, counts. If you're saying if you were building a show, that would be a, a major part of it. Yeah, it it <laughs> has to because it's it's like it's like showing prison with no bars. There, the bars are there. The count, time. You got it. So the count time has to happen. Yo. What because, are the other key elements well, if you were building well, out a show? And not even, yeah, the count time. The, the count time is huge, but also the things that people don't realize. What else? Like day to day shit. Because I think it's so funny how like they you have no clue. Like. It's, you got counted six times a day. Yes, you get you. You have to give your you have to give your spin number every like you never hear anybody giving a spin number on a prison. You're like if you hear inmate seven five four three three, they not gonna call out the number. They gonna say your name. You gotta say your number. Uh. You have to say your number. It's like when I hear people talk about oh I was in prison a long time and I'm like well what's your spin number or what's your what's your inmate number. Oh man, I don't remember it. Bullshit! <laughs> Bullshit! That's tattooed in your memory yeah. if you've been it's there. It's great. Got it. I know that number better than I know my social security number. Really? This is a number that I've tried to forget. Can I've you... tried to forget this number. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember one time I thought I did. <laughs> I was so goddamn happy. I, love that I, th I thought I was like, I was like, <laughs> I forgot the number. 
And then I was like, oh shit.